More rain. Yeah. Not what any of us wanted to hear today, particularly people who live in flood prone areas. I know, and that's the thing we have to be careful of yep. tonight and into tomorrow. And it's going to be on the big river systems, too. So this will also be a slower moving event, not like a flash flooding where it's here and gone, right. but the, the river flooding could last a couple of days. Let's talk about this and we take you, well, to tomorrow where, look, it's, it's going to be raining. Flood watch. That'll be also with milder temperatures in the morning. That rain will be heaviest likely in the morning as we start getting to lunch and beyond. Okay, now we're going to start to taper the rain off slowly. It will be near also the daytime high in the upper 50s at that point because temperatures will begin falling in the afternoon as it does become windy and the rain will still be around, but it should be light rain by the latter part of the day. But again, it will be getting colder. And again, that wind, we can be talking 40, 45 mile per hour winds. That's going to be a lot to deal with. Let's go ahead and talk about this. And as we do so, there's your Max Track Live Doppler. And yeah, it's it's rain as far as the Doppler can see. We're actually getting stuff all the way up into um, central Ohio and Indiana. Uh, you can see it's a real generous coverage. There are pockets where the rain is a little bit heavier, more back here to the west, and it's all moving its way northeast. So we're watching this whole area fill in as we've gone through this evening. So southeast Kentucky, we shouldn't have much rain earlier. It's now beginning to get in on it. More is coming for later tonight and tomorrow. So the bottom line is it's really wet. Your flood watch is for the entire area, and it is for the rest of tonight into tomorrow afternoon. Now. So far, the rainfall amounts haven't been over the top locally. We're still inch or less. Uh, we're seeing some of the mesonet sites as we go to the southwest of Lexington that are a little bit over an inch at this point. Uh, lesser amounts to the southeast and also to the east with more as you head back to west. In fact, getting to western Kentucky, you're out by Paducah and Hickman out that direction. They're in the two to three inch rains already. On top of what has already come down, we could put another three quarters of an inch to about another inch and a half of rain down, and that's where your flood potential is going to rest. And as we look through the rest of tonight, we are at least under a slight risk of excessive rainfall, so your flooding potential is there. That area does shift eastward tomorrow. In fact, we're looking at metaphysical certitude of rain through the balance of tonight. A little bit of a lull then as we head toward lunchtime. One more little bounce up with the true cold front coming by, and then our rainfall chances head toward zero as we get you on in to Wednesday. So yeah, obviously a very wet night and morning tomorrow. Lots of rain out there. Middle of the week, there's another shot of cold air coming, but it's not Arctic. It's just normal February cold. Not really anything over the top, but it may be just enough to kick a couple of snowflakes out tomorrow evening. Again, not a big deal in the eight day. It's normal winter. Couple warm days, couple cold days, little rain and a minor snow threat coming in as we look toward the weekend. Warm front is now beginning to bubble north. With it comes all of the rain as a low pressure begins to rev up. Coming across the Ozarks, there's tomorrow morning. There again is your generous coverage of rain coming through in morning commute. Heavy line of showers working its way through at 8 a.m. That's along with the steadier rain. Then the cold front makes its appearance around noon. Sweeps on by. You see all those isobars that compacts the air down, makes it go faster. And so there is your wind that comes in late in the day tomorrow. And that'll also be bringing in the cold air. High pressure will then settle down to the south, dries us out, clears us out. And the next warm front is already lined up for coming in the latter part of the week, which we can show you vividly here. Temperatures today were in the low 50s. We should top close to 60 tomorrow. There's your drop for Wednesday, but bump it right back up again Thursday and the colder stuff coming in for the weekend. Warm front is beginning to work its way north. You see the five degree swing. Lexington to Mount Sterling almost 10 by the time you get to Flemingsburg. Monticello sitting at 54. That's not bad. The real warm stuff sitting down to the southwest. Bluegrass Airport, we are at 51. Just under an inch of rain so far. We may put down another inch by the time this is all done. So for tonight. Flood watch. Rain, some of that will be heavy. We'll see rising temperatures as well. Your threat index will be at 1 through the night. It'll stay that way into the, at least the early part of the afternoon tomorrow. Wind, and we could see wind gusts 40 miles per hour or better, along with that rain, which will taper off in the afternoon. Wednesday actually looks drier now. We'll be in the mid-40s for a high. Valentine's Day looks pretty terrific. Rain and then maybe some snow just in time for your weekend.